how do I grow in my career? This is one of the common questions that I get from most of the people. As a mid-career transformation coach, yeah, this is a generic question which comes most of the times to me. And with, when this question comes to me, I tell people, ask. And people are like, yes, Fata, we are asking the same. How do I grow in my career? Ask is nothing but a three-step simple formula, three secret ingredients that can help you in your career growth. Number one in that is A for attitude. Attitude is everything. Without attitude, you cannot do anything in your career or in your life. As a manager, as a program manager, as a senior manager, whenever I was in my corporate world, I used to recruit people based on their attitude. And I've seen throughout my 17 years of corporate experience, the people who have great attitude always get great results because they are not the one who blame others or they are not the one who are always waiting and not doing things. But people with great attitude will take up challenges as opportunities. People with great attitude have open mindset to learn, to explore. So when you have great attitude, that is the basic foundation that will help you in your career growth. Number two is skills. Now, once you have great attitude, because of your attitude, people will love you, they will like you, and you will be able to establish those connections with people. But you also need skills. When you have great skills, then you will be able to get to the level, you will be able to achieve the kind of success you always wanted to. But yes, you need to understand, you need to identify the right skills and work in that direction. Because skills are what pay you. And we know all skills are learnable. Now, some people come to me and say, Fatah, I want to become a solution architect. Some people come to me and say, I want to become a pre-sales engineer. Some people come and say that I want to become a developer. Some say I want to become a support engineer. And they always talk about the, re the latest technology, the skills, and they are like, but I'm not sure if I'm, I'll be able to do that. But let me tell you this. When all these things are skills, be it communication, be it presentation, be it leadership, be it management, be it um, leading teams, be it coding, programming, analytics, whatever we are talking about, cloud, AWS, anything, all these are skills and all skills are learnable. But you need to identify what are the skills that you want to learn and you need to keep learning, you need to keep up upgrading yourself because if you don't upgrade yourself, if you don't have the right skills, then you will not be able to produce the right results for the company, for the organization, for your teams. And that takes me to the next step, that is, the number three is knowledge sharing. I have always believed in sharing knowledge because that's one of my core values. But what I've seen is many people are hesitant in the corporate world. Many people are hesitant to share their knowledge. They are afraid that if they share their knowledge, then somebody else might grow in place of them. But they are operating from limited mindset. They are operating from scarcity mindset. But when you operate from abundance mindset, when you operate thinking that if I help them, my knowledge also increases and I will also be able to grow, then you will definitely see that growth. And as a program manager at Cisco, I saw there were so many challenges. The mindset, it was, it was difficult to work with people because they had the mindset, fixed mindset, where, where they were not ready to share knowledge. And when you are not sharing your knowledge, your knowledge will stay only with you. And when you don't help others, you will not be able to grow as well. So you need to start sharing knowledge because when you share, you will always get more in terms of knowledge, in terms of learning, in terms of making that connections. And yes, when you have the combination of all these three, attitude, skills and knowledge, that is ask, then you don't have to ask anybody, but you just have to take actions and definitely you will see that career growth in your life. Thank you.